Yeah, so a lot of people in law enforcement get confused on what the priorities are. I started reading our city ordinances and looking at what was a violation of law and went out and actually looked for these things, which was a huge mistake because I wasn't prioritizing what crime was. All I did was try to figure out what a law was and who was breaking it. So if you want to get better at this game, you want to bigger results, you've got to figure out what you're going to prioritize as a police officer in the field. This is where a lot of people have a hard time trying to figure out well, how do I catch criminals and write tickets at the same time? And the answer is you can't. You've got to pick one or the other. You have to make a decision. Are you going to write tickets or are you going to go out and catch criminals? Because they're two very different things. They're not the same thing. If you spend any time deviating from what your priority is, you're not going to have the results you seek to get. That's in anything in life. When you come across something that is a violation of law, quote unquote, you have to ask yourself a question. Does this line up to match my priorities of catching criminals? So there are a lot of things, unfortunately, that we're going to have to ignore so we can prioritize the things that are more important. It's no different than why are we tying cops up on these stupid calls like setting them to first aid when there's an ambulance already there, if they don't need cops to be there, keeping cops available for high priority situations. This is why I think we should take our police resources and allocate them appropriately. It's low hanging fruit. It's an easy ticket, but don't forget when you're taking that 15 minutes to pen out that ticket, run those warrant checks, do all these things, you're taken away from time that could have been used to achieve your objective. And you might say, oh, if I pull a car over, it's only 15 minutes. The question is how many cars are you gonna pull over and how much time are you gonna kill in your day? We only have so much time to be proactive. And my advice to you is everybody's capable of doing something more and you should set your goals to the highest you believe you can achieve and continue to train and work to get there. It takes patience, but it's worth it. And you've got to employ the discipline of seeing things and going, that's not part of what I'm here to do today. And it'll take away from the bigger picture of what I plan to achieve as a law enforcement officer.